color there. This Nissan Primera has two horns here behind the grille, but can you guess how many of them actually work? Well, it's 50% or one half if you prefer fractions, but either way, it's not enough. So let's figure out what's wrong. Welcome to Car Spy TV. Right, let's start by demonstrating the fault. Yes, that doesn't sound too good. We're definitely only hearing one of the two horns. Now, there are many things that can stop a horn working, but for my particular car on this particular day, we can immediately rule out several possibilities. For example, we know it's not a blown fuse because one fuse controls both horns and one horn still working. For the same reason, we know it's not the relay, which is just a type of switch, because one relay controls both horns. And of course, as one horn is working, we know there's nothing wrong with the mechanism in the steering wheel. This suggests the problem is either the horn itself, the power cable that goes to the horn, or the connection between the two. We therefore need to start taking the car apart, so I grabbed a few tools and other bits and bobs. So let's figure this out. Now if we peer down this hole here, we can see one of the horns. There it is, and the other one is down there, although it is harder to see. So to get access to those, we need to remove this plastic trim above the radiator, which is held in place by a clip there. There's supposed to be a clip there, but that's missing. Let's have a look down here. Yeah, that clip's missing too, which is odd, but we do have one there. OK. To remove these clips, we need a flat-headed screwdriver. And we use that to pry out this central pin. Something like this. And this one's come out nice and easily, which is always good news. Now we can just lift out the retainer. And try not to lose it. <laughs> And here comes clip number two. I don't know why we're missing three and four. That's a bit odd. But either way, the trim is free. We can now see both horns. And this one here on the car's left is the low horn. And this one over here on the car's right is the high horn. To figure out which horn isn't working, I'm going to simultaneously hold them both, then get someone to lean on the steering wheel, and then I'll know which horn isn't vibrating. So let's have a go. Oh yeah, that was quite obvious. Yeah, the problem is with the horn on the car's right, that's the one that's not vibrating. So let's remove the broken horn, and to do that, we need to undo this bolt. Now, what size socket do you think we need? Choices, choices. I reckon, I reckon 13 or 14. Let's try 13. Fingers crossed. Oh, look at that. Got it right first time. Now that bolt hasn't been undone since 2005, so we'll give it a squirt of GT85 to encourage it to come loose. Because we really don't need stuck or shredded bolts. Right, we'll give that a moment. Please come loose, bolt. I've had trouble recently with bolts. I've had some really sticky ones. Oh, that's tight as well. <laughs> OK. 
Come on. Oh dear. Oh yes. Well, that's a relief. Right, that's the bolt out. So the horn is mostly free, but we still have to remove the electrical connector. No, we don't. Look, the wires snapped. Well, that explains the problem, doesn't it? Yeah, look at this. We've got a broken wire here, which is supposed to be connected to that. So, that broken electrical connector is definitely one fault, but before we go any further, let's check there's nothing wrong with the horn as well. And to do that, we're going to apply 12 volt directly to the horn via this power bank and these probes, and hopefully it will beep. I certainly hope so, because horns for prime errors are not that easy to come by. Right, oops, get a good contact there. This is the earth one, and now cross your fingers. Yeah. Okay, good, so there is definitely nothing wrong with the horn. Here's a question you don't get asked every day. Would you like a close-up of a broken electrical connector from a Nissan Primera? Who wouldn't? Here it is, and as we can see, I've now taken it apart. Now, rather than faff about trying to fix that, I've sourced a replacement instead. Here it is. So what we need to do now is chop off the insulation on the end of the wire, do the same for its counterpart in the car, connect them together, and then we'll have power for the horn, whatever that thing is. There it is. Okay, the wires have now been connected and insulated with blue electrical tape. So we're making progress. And now we're going to give the horn a quick clean before it gets reinstalled. There's a dead spider in there. <laughs> that dead spider does not want to come out. <laughs> anyway, more important, we should clean the electrical contacts with electrical contact cleaner to maximize the chance of it working nicely. In other news, I'm stuck in the back of the car because the child locks are on. Oh, okay, this is turning into a slightly trickier day than I expected. Where's the ignition gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, I can't reach it. I'm going to fall over in a bit. There we go. Oh, where's the button? Okay, child lock should be open now. Oh, hooray. Hello, box or Corsa. We can now reinstall the horn. So we'll pop the electrical connector on first because that will make life easier. There we go. And now we've got to pop it into position and find the bolt which we have down here. Now, do you remember what size ratchet we need for this bolt? 13, as I recall. Again, we have one of those here. So let's get that in. Helps to put it in forward. We're actually undoing the bolt. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we're back in the car. Let's now test the horn and cross your fingers this works. I could do with the win. It's been a difficult couple of weeks. So here we go. Yes. Perfect, exactly what it's supposed to be. We should put this radiator cover back on as well. Something like that. And I have the clips in my pocket. One of which can go in there, like so. And the other one can go in there. And I do need to source a couple more to fill in those holes. And that's it, but before you go, 
Don't forget to subscribe to CarSpy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video and I'll see you next time, hopefully with two working horns. Bye-bye.